Today we're going to be talking about the K-Bug 1200. The K-Bug 1200 is a lightweight, portable fillet welder for doing in-the-flat fillet welds. As you can see, it's a very small, lightweight, portable machine that allows you to take the machine directly to the workpiece, um, fits in confined spaces, and takes the gun out of the operator's hand. This way, the operator has less fatigue, is able to just monitor the puddle, and let the machine do the motion control for him. The machine is pretty much self-contained. It includes a 15-foot power cord, a 15-foot weld contactor cable so that it can control the arc on and off. It simply guides against the wall with the gun into the corner and produces stitch or continuous fillet welds. The controls of the K-Bug 1200 are really quite simple. We have a cycle start button, a cycle stop button, a weld enable switch, a preset for the direction switch, and the speed control knob, which also doubles as a selector knob when you're setting your background parameters. Before you start actual welding, you want to set up some of your background parameters in the control of the machine. To do this, simply hold the cycle start button and apply the power. The digital readout will then illuminate with a U and a value. This is the value for puddle build. You simply adjust by one-tenth of a second increments how much puddle build you want to create a puddle at the beginning of the weld. After that's set, you simply press the start button again. And you now have an end showing, and this is the crater fill time at the end of the weld, how long the arc will stay on once the machine stops to fill the crater. And again, that's adjustable by tenths of a second. Pressing the start button a third time shows an E. The E is a pause, and what it does is at the end of the weld, it will then stop and pause the weld, and for a period of time, allow the puddle to cool before it fires the crater fill at the end, and fill the crater on the weld. When you're completely done, simply hit the cycle stop button, and it's now in welding mode. There's two different modes of operation, stitch welding and continuous. To set stitch pattern, you set the length of the weld, the distance between the welds, and then also the total length of workpiece in inches or centimeters. To do this, simply press the speed knob down and the A LED will illuminate. With this LED illuminated, you can now set the distance of the weld, again by tenths of an inch or by centimeters if you're using a machine internationally. Once that value is set, you simply press the speed button a second time, and now you are in the measurement for the skip between the welds. Again, adjustable to a tenth of an inch or centimeters, and this can be adjusted to any length you need between the welds. Pressing the speed knob a third time illuminates the C LED. This is the total length of the workpiece. In the stitch mode, you can program in total length of workpiece in inches or centimeters, so that the machine, after welding the sequence, will automatically stop. It's a good safety feature, especially if an operator is operating more than one machine or happens to get distracted. The machine will run an exact pattern length and stop. To set the machine for continuous welding, simply hold the speed adjustment knob down until all three LEDs are flashing. The machine is now in continuous weld. The only setting you have is speed. You start the cycle, it will weld continuously until the operator stops it or the end limit switch is actuated. We're now going to look at some of the features of the K-Bug 1200. The base has permanent magnets to aid in traction. It holds the machine in place. The machine can go up to about a 75 degree angle. It's not made for vertical. It's made for in the flat. It's got four wheel drive silicone high temperature wheels, spatter guard to protect the wheels on the welding side, two adjustable arms that ride against the vertical wall. These arms are slightly offset with the, with the leading arm slightly shorter than the trailing arm. This drives the machine towards the vertical wall at all times to aid in tracking the joint. The handle is not only for carrying but it also is a magnet release. So when you pull back on it, it releases a good bit of the magnetism to allow for easier positioning. The gun holder is a quick release, holds the barrel of a straight barrel gun, 
and is adjustable for torch angle adjustment or in and out to make sure that you're in the corner. The machine also comes standard with limit switch stops, which can be used to stop at the end of the travel. The cable anchor is an optional accessory, comes in handy to support the whip of the gun uh, to make sure that the tip maintains its position. To set the machine up for, actual, for the actual weld, it's fairly simple. First thing we're going to do is place the straight barrel gun in the gun holder. It's a nice quick release. You can adjust it down so you have the proper amount of stick out. Fine adjustments again can be made with the racking support. Two cables to come with the machine. We have a power cord. Connect that in. Make sure we screw it on good and tight. And a weld contact cable. Very simple, quick connections. Again, with the optional cable support, we can bring the gun and cable and the other cables up through it, keeps them out of the way, and prevents any strain. Okay, we'll take a quick look at our gun position. See that we need to bring the gun angle up a little bit to get a good 45 right into the corner. Maybe bring it in a little bit closer. And we're about ready to start welding. I'm going to position the machine now at the beginning of the weld. Again, a simple slide it into position. Make sure your follower wheels are against the vertical wall. The machine is slightly canted towards the wall so that it's constantly driving against the vertical wall. We're going to go double check our parameters on our weld sequence and we'll begin welding. Okay, we're all set up now to do our stitch welding. I've set my pattern to do a one and a half inch weld with a one and a half inch stitch. Torch is in position, the machine's in position, welding equipment's turned on. You simply press the start button to begin this process. Okay, we can now remove the machine from the workpiece and we'll take a look at the results. Here we can see we've got a nice consistent pattern, consistent bead size. This is very important when the operator is given specific fillet size instructions, they want to maintain those. Uh, when you're welding by hand, it's very difficult to maintain that exact travel speed. With the K-Bug 1200, the speed is accurate all the time so your fillet welds are always the proper size. The K-Bug 1200 is also available in a battery powered version. The machine will come with an 18 volt 4 amp hour battery that requires less than one hour for a recharge. The battery is capable of running up to two 8 hour shifts for a total of 16 hours on one charge. The battery is low voltage safe. The machine itself is 100% mechanically similar to the 120 volt, 240 volt K-Bug 1200 versions of the machine. The only requirements for this machine are the weld contact cord and the welding torch. Lithium ion batteries run at full power until the charge is depleted. This is much better than standard batteries because standard batteries lose power over time affecting and slowing travel speed. This enables the battery powered K-Bug 1200 to run at constant speed throughout the entire life of the battery. For more information on the K-Bug 1200 and other great Bugo products, visit our website at bugo.com or contact your local welding distributor for more information.